what does it actually mean to be a full stack developer? That's kind of a complicated question and one that my career has sort of answered for me over the last couple of years. Um, but really what it's taught me is that full stackism or being a full stack developer is something that everybody I think should try if they're kind of getting into software engineering or if they've been doing it for a while. Um, at least if you're on the web application side. I acknowledge that there's tons and tons of people that are working in embedded systems and systems engineering and game development and all of that other stuff where full stackism isn't exactly the same thing. But at least if you're working in the web app side or kind of the web app facing side, I think being a full stack developer is a valuable lesson to kind of learn. I wrote about this a bit on my blog. I'll link the post in the description. I promise I'm not just going to read off of this. Um, but in it, I talk about how full stackism and full stack being a full stack developer teaches you to be way more well-rounded as a developer. And it presents some unique problems that I think are valuable for basically all developers. Um, to kind of give you a you know very high level overview of my career, I started off as a threat intelligence analyst um, where I wasn't doing hardly any developer work. Um, I very quickly decided that that was not my thing and transitioned into a role that at least allowed me to do a little bit more developer work. Um, what that role actually was, you know, from the development perspective, was essentially a proof of concept engineer. Um, that's not a formal name. Don't look that up on LinkedIn, trying to get hired as a proof of concept engineer. Essentially, what I mean by that is I was tasked with being a solo developer, creating proof of concept and hacky type um, programs to kind of prove that we can do a thing or how a thing would look. Um, what this looked like in practice was everything was incredibly ugly. Everything ran, even if it didn't run very well, there were no tests, there were lots of errors. Um, it honestly was not a great way to get started as an engineer because I did not learn a lot of the technologies and good habits and all of the things that kind of come with a much more traditional start as an engineer. Um, so then I moved into a more formal full stack engineering position. Um, this was fairly recently within the last like year or so. Um, and what that meant was things had to look at least a little bit prettier. They had to do a little bit more than work. They had to work well. They had to work a little bit more at scale. Um, and the UI UX had to be okay. It did not have to be like, you know, front end developer, like design ready, but it had to be decent. Um, so I basically had to restart my career at that point. I had to teach myself front end development that actually looks decent, that actually functions well. I had to learn React, which, oh boy, that was, that was a lot. It still is a lot. Um, you know, there was a lot that I kind of had to learn to go from a proof of concept engineer to somebody who like could actually work on the full stack. Um, this made me way more well-rounded. This allowed me to understand both sides of the stack from a much more professional perspective instead of just understanding them enough to get things to work. I had to understand them enough to get things to actually work. Um, this was incredibly valuable, incredibly difficult, um, and it is still a process that I'm in the middle of. Um, so with all of that hardship and all of the issues that come with that, why do I recommend being more full stack or focusing more on the entire stack if you're a front end developer or a back end developer primarily? I am still primarily a back end developer. However, whenever I'm designing back ends or whatever I'm designing systems, I understand the front end and how things have to work throughout the entire stack. I understand, okay, if I'm going to create these API endpoints, these API endpoints not only have to work well from the API, I don't know why that froze, they have to work well from the API side, they also have to work well on the UI side. So I have to batch things in a, you know, in a good way. I have to make these requests in a way where the UI, the UI is not just going to hang forever. Um, this was unbelievably valuable and I think it's valuable to just about everybody else um, because that like full stack well-roundedness is something that's really going to follow you like well into your career even if you just do front end or back end work. Um, so where am I at now with that? I'm working essentially as a full stack developer full time and I'm working on my cybersecurity startup grabber app. 
Um, there will be a link in the description to kind of know more about that. But with Grabber app, I'm doing literally everything solo. I'm doing marketing solo. I am doing social media solo. I'm doing all of the um, architecture solo. I'm doing the entire stack, front end, back end, everything solo. I haven't had anybody. Um, yeah, I haven't had any contractors yet. I haven't contracted anything out yet. I don't have the money for that, so that's not happening. Um, but I'm doing everything solo on that, so it's as close to full stack as you could possibly get. And I have learned way more from doing that than I have any Udemy course or anything else. So I definitely recommend it as a method of kind of either getting started in development or continuing your career in a better direction or at least a direction where I think you're going to understand the technologies a lot better. Um, if you're working primarily in the front end or the back end, you know, maybe find somebody on the other side of the aisle to talk to. At the very least, that will build more cohesion within your organization. Um, if you are that proof of concept type engineer, start polishing up on both sides of the stack. Start polishing up on your design work. Start polishing up on you know, your services, architecture work, you know, all of these different things are things that are at the very least valuable to understand at a high level. Um, and you very well may find that you prefer one side of the stack that you didn't expect to prefer. So that's about it. If you learned something, like, comment, all of that fun stuff. Take it easy. Peace.